um, thank you, Ahmad, and thank you, Vajia, for including me in this uh, excellent program that you people do. I'm very happy to join you. Um, so I will jump into the Dastan immediately. Um, my journey started uh, in the arts uh, because I think because of my family, my parents, they were all very um, interested in the arts. They helped their, all their children to uh, learn various art forms. Like as a child, I learned Western classical music for many years. Um, then when we moved to Karachi, uh, my mother put me into uh, a dance class with um, Mr. and Mrs. Gansham. This was a couple that used to live in Pakistan that were, had been invited by Prime Minister Sorbarthi from Calcutta and to set up a dance academy in uh, Karachi. And uh, when I was growing up and going to school in Karachi, so a lot of young people would go to this academy to learn dance and music. And there was yoga and there was uh, Ghana and there was sitar and, um, and it was like a family atmosphere and that's where I started off but then I as I um, as I went on with my studies I felt that I, I was I never knew what I wanted to do what I wanted to become um, you know like one is always thinking oh I want to do this I want to do that and it was a difficult time to decide what exactly uh, is that I want to do and um, so I actually, at that point, when I finished my schooling, uh, I decided I want to become a painter. So I went to an art college and I, I did my uh, uh, course in uh, fine arts. And then I came back and I rejoined the Kanshams and slowly I realized that maybe it is, uh, I, art, uh, painting is not what I really want. Maybe I want something else. And slowly, slowly, the more I started getting seriously involved with dance, I became more and more interested in finding out more about it. And uh, then uh, in, the, uh, in the early 80s, when Jenny Ziaulak actually banned dancing in Pakistan, at that time, I'd already make up, made up my mind that I would become a dancer. And I had, with the permission of my guru, Mr. Gansham, I'd gone off to India to learn dance. And... Um, while I was still there, I got a call from them saying that they have to leave Pakistan because dance has been banned in Pakistan. And, uh, and then, of course, they were non-Muslims, so they had an added problem of uh, not being able to live in this country. And so they actually, before I even arrived back from India, they had to leave. And that's where I then started uh, teaching and also performing. But this was a time where most of the dancers in Pakistan had left the country and performances, they had become very, very um, impossible to hold because you actually had to sign an affidavit saying that you are not dancing. And I just decided that, no, I will stay in this country and I'll continue to dance. And this is my basic right. Um, and uh, if anybody who doesn't like it doesn't have to come, but why should I stop dancing? And so I started having private performances, which I organized myself, and I um, built up a, a, a list of people who were interested. And so we built up an audience. Now, this is a time when there was no um, um, uh, uh, mobiles, there were no computers. Well, computer had just come in, but not laptops and um, no um, uh, iPads and nothing. And so what, how we built up a list by actually giving you, uh, you know, asking people to write down their names and addresses and, <coughs> and we would inform people through the post about our performances. And as I kept on performing, it seemed that uh, without my wanting it actually, because I had learned the classical art form and I was presenting a classical uh, dance, um, but because of the times and because of the circumstances, every time I performed, it became a political act. It became an act of defiance of the, against the military dictatorship, which actually was saying, you may not dance. And uh, so that's how politics and my art and my politics uh, sort of uh, integrated 
and um, and um, slowly I realized that dance is something all the arts, all the performing arts are something that one can use uh, as a form of resistance, one, something that one can use as defiance, and something that one can use to bring people together, to unite people. Uh, because, you know, there's no barrier, there's no language, and uh, it's just a beautiful art form. And slowly through dance, I moved into theater as well. Because actually, if we look at um, our traditions of uh, performing arts, they emerged from dastan going, they emerged from storytelling. It was our, um, uh, you know, the storytellers who wanted to narrate stories about their her heroes and heroines and ancient times and mythology. So, wo kahaniya bayan karte the, wo dastan bayan karte the. Aur wo kis tarah se bayan karte the ki unke paas jo hai, whatever is available to that storyteller. So, what is available? It's your body, it's your expressions of your face, your eyes, or all the expressions of the uh, facial expressions. Then the way you stand, the way you use your body, the way you use your, uh, your sound, your, your voice. Um, so all of this combined to make a good storyteller and, uh, and of course, uh, movement. So our old stories were written, the stories of our history, generations of our history, they they would act, they would sing, they would um, uh, do dialogue, they knew poetry, and they knew your history, they knew your, um, your literature. So it was a very holistic uh, art form, and that is what I slowly found was the beauty of our traditional performing arts. It's not necessary to dance, or to do all the things, and to do all the things and to so is the Rase Mary um Jani Rani um I stay some in the MSUs Yake the ship auditoriums may or holds may they perform Kana Chakyu, Jaya Lakta hai, Kya Ye uh Mosiki Johe, classical Mosiki, folk music, folk dance, classical dance, theatre, all forms of theatre, ye a po apni arm public that form that. You know, that is the purpose of my, uh, uh, my life, my art. It, it should reach the ordinary uh, human being. You know, mostly the plays hote hai, performances are in theatre halls, where there are expensive tickets. So what have we done? We kind of decided that we will make ourselves accessible to the ordinary uh, communities uh, in and around Karachi. And uh, we don't need auditorium. We don't need uh, you know big halls and lights and sound. Hum ek apne aap ko mobile bana ke communities mein jaate hain aur wahan chote chote naatak karte hain aur un un naatak ke baad hamara maksad ye hota hai ki hum apne audience se dialogue create kare. So this is a, a sort of an interactive uh, uh, performance always. And koi issue hum ne raise kiya. Misal ke toh pe agar hum ne early marriage or post marriage so um we hum dikhate hain fir hum audience se baat karte hain ki kya aapke yahan aisa hota hai ki aapke ghar mein kisi ke sath aisa hua so you know seeing these stories told or then it um, the audience especially the female audience opens up with their stories and that is the whole purpose ke phir ek debate ek dialogue shuru ho sakta hai and i think that debate dialogue um, that is the transforming effect of these arts and you know the transforming effect is so powerful so powerful that is what authorities are afraid of because you provide alternatives to the people and uh, so it opens up it opens up your mind it opens up your imagination it opens up possibilities Finally, the most important thing is that it empowers your, your audience. Wo samaj, wo jab stage pe koi kahani dekhte hain, is kisi ladki ki jo ab tak mazdoom thi, magar finally usne kisi tarah se strength uh, apne andar dhunke, 
कोई रास्ता निकाला अपनी आजादी का तो जो ऑडियंस है उसको लगता है कि मैं भी शायद ये कर सकती हूँ तो दिस इज हाउ वन एम्पावर्स दी ऑडियंस एंड दिस इज हाउ द मैसेज गोज थ्रू डांस थ्रू म्यूजिक थ्रू एंटरटेनमेंट सो इट इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दिस एंड दिस इज वॉट आई डिसाइडेड दिस इज वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू डू बिकॉज फाइनली अगर हमारा कंसर्न ये है कि हम अपने माशरे में औरत की स्टेटस बेहतर करना चाहते हैं जो कि इस वक्त बहुत ही लो बहुत ही इंफीरियर स्टेटस हमने दिया हुआ है औरत को वी डोंट कंसिडर हर इवन एन इक्वल सिटीजन ऑफ द सोसाइटी तो वो स्टेटस अगर हम बेहतर करना चाहते हैं बढ़ाना चाहते हैं तो वो सिर्फ इसी तरह से होगा कि हम लोगों में ये शूर ये कॉन्शियसनेस या अवेयरनेस लाएँ कि विमेन आर ऑल्सो equal citizens and they have equal rights and their rights are the same as human rights so ye hum dusri baat kar sakte and this is a kind of a cultural revolution and it can only be and so you have to bring these cultural changes only through this through culture through cultural means because culture what it does it touches you uh, deeply aapke dil mein aur aapke dimag mein touches you and it um, makes you think makes you move so when you move you raise questions and that is the whole purpose of these arts to make people think to make people question and finally to open their imaginations and to make people find their own ways i mean we don't have answers we are not saying ki humko pata hai ki aap kaise better apna samaj kar sakte hain hum keh rahe hain aap khud soche aap raste dhoonde and you are the ones who will uh, make the changes in your environment in yourself inside within you and around you beautiful so um, these were the thoughts i want these were the thoughts i wanted to share with everyone with you and everybody else and um, then i um, uh, amad you asked me if i would like to present something so mai samajhti hu ke bahut logon ne temida riyaz ka naam suna hoga temida riyaz Uh, is is I'm saying she has passed away, but for me she still is because her words, her poetry will always remain with us. Um, she's one of the greatest feminist poets of the Urdu language. She's one of the greatest poets of the Urdu language uh, because she was a feminist. She was not acknowledged in the same way as maybe had she been a man, she would have got acknowledged. मतलब अब देखें ना फैस आपको तो सभी सारी दुनिया जानती है मतलब पहमीदा को बहुत सारे लोग नहीं जानते बट शी वॉज एन अमेजिंग पोएट शी वॉज अ राइटर शी वॉज शी रिटन स्टोरीज शी रिटन नॉवल्स शी डन रिसर्च एंड शी वॉज क्वाइट शी वॉज एक्चुअली एन अमेजिंगली मल्टी फैसिटेड पर्सनैलिटी तो मेरा मेरा एक पर्सनल लगाव भी था उनके साथ हमेशा वे आर वेरी क्लोज फ्रेंड्स एंड आई डन अ लॉट ऑफ वर्क on a lot of her poetry with her permission always i choreographed her works i made them into videos i asked her to write poetry for me on various themes which i uh, used also in my work maine ek dance drama banaya hai jiska naam maine rakha raks karo and that is the story of woman from the time of um, you know the, uh, the the earliest time when people were living Uh, in the far in the jungles and how the status of women changed over the eras uh, as people acquired property and once the man acquired property he wanted to ensure that that property will go to his child his son and not elsewhere so when so his wife also then became his property so it actually shows the whole uh, 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 process of how the women lost their position which in the earlier times was of a much higher status and slowly slowly as they become they became uh, the property of man uh, they, um, they, they they kind of fell lower and lower in society so is tarah se maine bahut kaam kiya hai pehmida ka aaj main aapke samne unki ek nazm sunana cha rahi hu jo ki maine as well as choreograph ki hai मूवमेंट uh, में और ये नज्म uh, जो है uh, मुझे लगता है कि ये बहुत अहम नज्म है हमारी सोसाइटी के लिए 
पाकिस्तान के कॉन्टेक्स में औरतों के कॉन्टेक्स में बिकॉज यू रिमेंबर सिंस द टाइम दैट पाकिस्तान मूविंग ऑन दिस पाथ ऑफ इस्लामाइजेशन फंडामेंटलिज्म एंड तालिबनाइजेशन तो ये जो कॉन्सेप्ट हमको दिया जाता है कि तुम्हारी जगह घर के अंदर है और तुम्हारा जिसम जो है वो चादर के पीछे होना चाहिए सो दिस इट्स कॉल्ड चादर और चार दीवार तो मैं इसको कोशिश करूंगी कि आपके सामने थोड़ा सा इसको करके दिखाऊं जरा सा मुश्किल है क्योंकि इसमें थोड़ा बहुत मूवमेंट है मगर मैं खुद नजम भी करूंगी और खुद मूव भी करूंगी इसी जगह पे सो This is the black chadar that was imposed on us in 1981, 82, and everybody was asked to wear this black chadar. Buzu, me is ya chadar ka kya karungi? Ye aap kyu mujko bakshte hain? Barsa din aaye. हाल में लगाऊ अगर ना गुस्सा मुझको समझे अगर मैं जा की अमान पाऊ तो दस बस्ता करू गुजारिश के बंदा पर हुजूर के उछ रहे मोहतर में एक लाशा पड़ा हुआ है न जाने कब का गला सड़ा है ये आपसे रहम चाहता है हुजूर इतना करम तो कीजिए स्या चादर मुझे ना दीजिए स्या चादर से अपने हुजरे की बेकफन लाश ढाक दीजिए इससे फूटी है जो अपूर्ण वो कूचे कूचे में फाकती है वो सर पटकती है जो पर रहेगी जरा दिल खराश चीखे बना रही है जब भयोले जो चादरों में भी है बरहना वो कौन जानते तो होंगे हुजूर पहचानते तो होंगे ये लौंडिया है हुजूर के नस विरसे से मोतबर है ये के जोजगी का खराज देने कतार अंदर कतार बारी की मुंतजर है जिनके सर पर फिरा जो हजरत का दस्त शक्कर तो कमसनी के लहू से धनीश सफेद रंगीन हो गई के मोतर में जिंदगी खून रो गई है पड़ा हुआ है जहां ये लाशा तबील सदियों से 
قتل انسانیت کا یہ خون چکا تماشا اب اس تماشے کو ختم کیجیے اس کو ڈھانپ دیجیے سیاہ چادر تو بن چکی ہے میری نہیں آپ کی ضرورت اس سمی پر وجود میرا نہیں فقط ایک نشان شہبت شاہرا جب مگا رہی ہے میری سہانت زندگی زمین کے روح پر جو ہے پسینہ تو جھل ملاتی ہے میری محنت یہ چار دیواریاں یہ چادر گلی سڑی لاش کو مبارک اپنی فضا میں باز بان کھول کر بڑھے گا میرا سفینہ کھلی فضا میں بار بار کھول کر بڑھے گا میرا سفینہ that was extremely powerful this was, a, this was a Thank poem you. I don't know how many people I don't know how many people have actually understood it, but um, basically what she's saying is, is that this is not what I need. This is what you need. And um, so I got rid of it and I am free and I will walk forward in abandon and freedom. So I think it's a, you know, it's a beautiful symbol um, and it means a lot to uh, I would have liked to do some floor work, but I felt that maybe you know you can see that. Uh, you do this um, <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, if, uh, if you want to now, you know, sort of uh, have people ask questions or have a discussion or First want to say something more. First and foremost, Shimaji, this was amazing to kind of hear your story and then seeing you perform. This was so, so powerful. And especially the words of the poem were incredible. And thank you for, for translating because a couple of people did ask in the chat that they weren't able to understand some of the terminology. So thank you so much for doing that. And I'm going to share the, the poem and the translation as well with everyone on the follow-up email because it's absolutely beautiful. Um, you have one question, which is, what would be the advice that you'd give to aspiring performing artists in Pakistan um, if your family isn't supportive or how have you... Sorry, ever... sorry, I couldn't hear you. What would be the advice that you would uh, give? Amadi, you'll have to repeat this. I... Uh, I'm losing your right. voice. Can you repeat it? Of course. What would be the advice that you would give to aspiring performing artists in Pakistan in which families, may, um, they're not as receptive to that being an art form to, to kind of go forward with. What advice would I give to who? To, to aspiring performing artists. Oh, okay, aspiring. Well, um, my advice always has been that if you believe that what you are doing is honest and truthful, then nobody can stop you and you will always be, uh, be able to go ahead with it. And I think that is how, that, because that is what I'm, I, I learned from my own experience. I always believed that dance is something that is honest, that is truthful, and that is beautiful. And my belief in my art gave me that courage, gave me the strength, and gave me the possibility to continue because otherwise, uh, living in this society might uh, you know i might have given it up at any time like a lot of people do so i i mean my advice is this learn first the classical art it's a craft it's an art it's uh, it's like uh, you know i mean you you're studying science if you want to uh, or mathematics or whatever any subject that you want to study you need to spend time see people come to me and say uh, okay, Shima ji, in 10 days, we will learn dance. 
तो दस दिन में कोई डांस नहीं सीखता दानी द काइंड ऑफ डांस वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इट क्लासिकल डांस है दस दिन में आप कुछ भी नहीं सीख सकते सो बेसिकली ऑल द क्लासिकल आर्ट्स नीड इयर्स एंड इयर्स ऑफ व्हाट वी कॉल रियाज यू नो व्हिच इज प्रैक्टिस व्हिच इज रिपीटेड प्रैक्टिस एंड विदाउट दैट रियाज यू कांट गो एनीवेयर एंड अनफॉर्चूनेटली आवर सोसाइटीज हैव बिकम सो एवरी पीपल वांट एवरीथिंग आपको पूरे दिल से करना है पूरा आपको अपनी एक तरह से एक डेडिकेशन जो कहते हैं ना पैशन एंड डेडिकेशन आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर फॉर दिस आर्ट फॉर्म्स एंड सो इफ यू आर रेडी फॉर दैट गो विद इट लर्न इट इट्स अ ब्यूटीफुल थिंग इट विल मेक यू फील वंडरफुल इट विल गिव यू अ लॉट ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस कॉन्फिडेंस एंड डिग्निटी इन योर बॉडी कॉन्फिडेंस एंड स्ट्रेंथ इन योर सेल्फ यू नो आई मैं अपने स्टूडेंट्स को कहती हूं कि जब कोई सड़क पे लड़की खड़ी है इवन इफ शी इज वेरिंग ये मतलब डोंट अगर आप सीना तान के अपनी स्पाइन को इरेक्ट करके खड़ी होती है तो एक और फीलिंग आप कन्वे कर रही होती हैं आप ये फीलिंग कन्वे कर रही होती हैं कि अच्छा तुम समझते हो तो मुझे कुछ कर सकते हो आके देखो तो यू नो सो यू बिकम सर ऑफ स्ट्रॉन्ग यू बिकम पावरफुल एंड एंड बॉयज विल कीप अवे फ्रॉम यू तो ये बहुत इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर वेमेन टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस and it's very important for women to learn dance it's important for children to learn dance it gives you mind body coordination it gives you discipline it gives you focus it shows you uh, brings concentration bahut sara kuch hai jo ke iske sath juda hua hai main samajhti hu ki ye to hamare schoolon mein hamare curriculum mein hona chahiye har bachche ko dance aana chahiye and also another thing ki ye jo hamara जेंडर स्टीरोटाइप बने हुए ना कि लड़कों को यूं होना चाहिए बड़ा माचो होना चाहिए और लड़कियां नाजुक सी होंगी तो ये इट ब्रेक्स दैट स्टीरोटाइप आल्सो बिकॉज़ जो डांस कर रहा है हमारे खास तौर पे हमारे हमारे ट्रेडिशन में एवरी डांसर हैज टू लर्न दैट द मेल एंड द फीमेल आर बोथ विद इन यू सो यू आर बोथ वेरी स्ट्रांग एंड यू कैन बी वेरी gentle and tender and loving as well so ye cheeze jab aap seekhte hain to you break the gender um, uh, biases and the gender stereotypes so i would say ke i mean i really want everyone to learn dance everyone right they don't have to become dancers main ye nahi keh rahi hu ki har insaan khade ho ke dancer ban jaye magar to experience it you know is what is so important shima ji thank you so much um aapne jitni bhi cheeze kahi hain they are so important for people to hear and so beautifully put and so powerful not just your performance lekin jo aapke loves the the way you kind of express them not just about um everyone needing a form of expression and coming together and some kind of creative creative expression because it really does teach you a different kind of dialogue it lets you kind of go out out of the bubble jo society aapko dalti hai iske andar so i am extremely grateful i have a couple more questions like we're running out of time so we'll go into the next person jo actually frames jo aapne baat kari thi ke nothing comes the next day you need to work you need to learn and that's when you're able to kind of become what you become um so i'm very excited to kind of tell everyone a little bit more um about our next guest yes. thank you so much agar ek aakhri baat agar you have a you have a minute can i say the uh, final thing dg of course yeah so i just want yeah i just wanted to add 
कि ये जो जिसको हम क्योंकि देखिए एक तो हम क्लासिकल की बात करते हैं दूसरा है फोक यू नो फोक डांस जिसको उर्दू में कहते हैं लोक रक्स जो लोक क्या होता है लोक वही है ना दे आर ऑर्डनरी पीपल दिस इज सो एंड व्हाट वाज ट्रेडिशनली डन बाय ऑर्डनरी पीपल वाज एट मोमेंट्स ऑफ सेलिब्रेशन or even at moments of sadness people would get together so there is a collective uh, a collective uh, moment where people join hands and move in a certain rhythm so that collective rhythm gives you uh, uh, strength gives it has a healing power and that is what folk dancing is about मैं सिर्फ ये बात ऐड करना चाहती थी कि जो लोग समझते हैं कि डांस क्यों किया जाए बुरी चीज है लोग नहीं करते ये तो सिर्फ पता नहीं क्या है क्या नहीं है मैं ये कह रही थी ये जिंदगी का ये हिस्सा है इट कीप्स यू अलाइव इट कीप मेक्स यू ह्यूमन थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच हिमाजी